Holistic Voice presents the Food Heals podcast with your hosts, Alison Melody and Susie Hardy. Join the Food Heals nation and learn the secrets to go from feeling unwell to healing yourself. Warning, side effects of this podcast may include increased health and vitality, thoughts of living longer, an increase in sexual activity, feelings of joy, cravings for kale and quinoa, and a spike in Tinder matches. In rare cases, people have experienced a strong desire to put in their Lululemons and take a yoga class while drinking a green juice. If you experience any of these symptoms, text your priest immediately. All right, welcome Food Heals Nation. Thanks for joining me. I'm Allison Melody. Last time we were talking to Michael O'Neill about how to heal your hormones and the importance of why, guys, you might want to get your testosterone checked. Now it's part two of our interview with Michael and we will hear the riveting story of his trip all the way to Istanbul and a natural way to regrow your hair using your own hair follicles without drugs, without harsh side effects, and how you can go from balding to a beautiful head of hair too. But first, Food Heals Nation, ease your body into a calm, relaxed state with these nine soothing superfoods in one delicious nighttime tea and get the restful sleep you deserve. That's right, I'm talking about Organifi Gold. That is their turmeric tea. It's like a lovely latte. It has an incredible taste, wonderful aroma, promotes recovery while you rest. It's naturally calming with zero negative side effects. And I can speak from experience that it tastes absolutely delicious. And mark your calendars because Monday 926 to Thursday 929, if you buy a gold canister, you'll get free 30 count gold travel packs that will be automatically added to your order once you add the gold canister to your cart. Of course, that's over at Organifi Shop dot com slash food heals use the discount code food heals you're also gonna get 20% off your entire order so you're getting a free gift plus 20% off that's Monday 926 to Thursday 929 and you can enjoy all of Organifi's superior superfoods and incredible adaptogens any time of day but most people prefer the gold in the evening including myself and that's because the ingredients work synergistically to support restful sleep recovery and a healthy response to stress, which are all essential to wake up feeling great. So why is restful sleep crucial? Well, our bodies have these natural circadian rhythms, which allows our bodies to assign certain physiological functions throughout our 24 hour day, such as waking up and going to sleep. So when the body's natural circadian rhythm is working properly, natural sunlight and a surge of cortisol wake us up in the morning as our melatonin begins to decrease. Then as the sun sets, cortisol lowers as melatonin rises, which peaks in the middle of the night. And so it's like a beautiful dance between two hormones, cortisol and melatonin rising and falling as we move throughout our day. And nighttime is the perfect time for full body recovery. That is when the body truly goes to work at repairing, detoxifying, and rebuilding other cells that were damaged during the day. So every evening is the perfect time to relax and enjoy adaptogens that support a healthy response to stress. So again, go to OrganifiShop.com and get your free 30 count of gold travel packs when you buy a gold canister. That special is Monday 926 to Thursday 929. Use my discount code FOODHEALS to save 20% off your entire order. Sleep well, Food Heals Nation. All right, next up, my interview with Michael. Roll it, Roxy. The Food Heals Podcast starts now. All right, this is part two of our two-part interview with today's guest. He is one of the OGs of the second wave of podcasting with his show, The Solopreneur Hour, which has garnered over 10 million downloads. Known as one of the best deep dive podcast interviewers in the game, his course, The Art of the Interview, is available right now at artoftheinterview.co. On the health front, he's a staunch advocate for men having their testosterone checked, which is what we talked about last time, and he's one year removed from having a hair transplant in Istanbul. We travel and speak together at events frequently like PodFest, We Are Podcast, New Media Summit, and more. And we may have been known to host a karaoke party or two. Last time we discussed his hormone journey and the importance of getting your testosterone checked. And today we're talking about how to get a new head of hair naturally. Food Heals Nation, please welcome back to the show, Michael O'Neill. What's up? 
How you doing, Allie? Good, good. How are you? Sorry we can't be there in uh, in person this time. We tried. We, we tried. tried. We were going to, but best laid plans. And now we're doing it. You're in LA and I'm in Nashville. But uh, it was fun having you here. Yeah, but with the wonders of modern technology, no one can really tell. No one knows. So we didn't even good. have to tell them. They would have thought we were still in person. <laughs> it's the tech. It's the tech, though. There's some good tech, you know? Definitely. We've got some very good tech and um, and you're using what, Zencaster? And this is great. Yes, this is Zencaster. I prefer it over Zoom because I think the audio sounds better. It does. Now, some people have perfectly great audio over Zoom. I don't know how they do it. I like. I prefer Zencaster much better. Well, we have nailed it, and it was so fun to be in Nashville with you. Um, I can't wait to go back and like spend a week and really enjoy it and play a little more music, and you can show me some cool karaoke bars or, or something fun like that. And uh, yeah. I can't wait. Yes, you're always welcome. Nashville is a blast, Food Heals Nation. If you like the music scene, if you like the food scene, it's great for foodies. It's great for music. It's just a great, really rapidly growing place. Like There are new things popping up every single day, new restaurants opening, new bars opening, new coffee shops opening. It's really growing quickly. So it's one of those cities that's, I don't want to say up and coming because it's been around for a while, but it's just really growing fast. It's a really fun place to be and cool thing to witness. It is indeed. I, I was waiting. I was waiting for you to expound on Nashville more because I could probably talk about Nashville for a while. I know we could, but let's talk about our topic of the day, okay. which is what is the purpose of getting a hair transplant? Because look, we're all a little vain. You speak on stages. You want to look good. You're on television or you're on uh, YouTube. You want to look good, but you also want drug free options because I know there are drugs that you can take to grow your hair, but they can have lots of side effects. So why did you choose a hair transplant and how did you find out about it? Well, so yeah, let me rewind the whole thing a little bit. Um, yeah. It's very strange as a, a dude, like if you saw you guys, if you saw my, my hair from like the mid 2000s when I was in my full band guy days, like I had some hair, like I had some yeah. full on boy band hair happening there. And uh, in fact, if you can put pictures in the show notes, I will send you my, like a couple of photos from my band photo shoot, Allie. And you can be like, oh, geez, sure. I can see it. Um, and so as I, as my career developed and I started getting on uh, stages and doing speaking gigs, and then I've got this YouTube channel where I'm restoring a vintage Porsche. And so I've done like a hundred something videos on that channel. And it's like mm -hmm. every time I would edit the videos, I'd go, oh man, my hair doesn't look very good. Like it's not looking good. And it's hard to describe, but kind of like the testosterone we talked about in the last episode, there's something very tied to your, certainly vanity, but um, I don't want to say masculinity. It's the wrong word, but, but there is something. It's a part of our identity. Yeah, it's a real core part of, you, you take something that you've had literally your whole life and all of a sudden it's not there anymore. Yeah. And especially as a single dude, um, you know, and I'm not 30 anymore. It's like, man, I, I feel like I, I wanted to give myself any advantage that I could, uh, at this point. Like if I want to find my person, I don't want to have to deal with another thing. And a lot of people say like, why well, don't you just shave it off? That's, you know, which is totally a look. That is a thing that you can do. But, yeah. And a lot of people look great. They do. And I actually looked pretty great with a bald head when I did this. Um, however, I would rather have the option than not have the option. Sure, so sure. I can still shave it off if I want to right now, if I really want to look like that. I just didn't want to have to, you know, mm -hmm. it was just one of those things that, that, um, especially because like, I, I think your hair really throughout, like certainly with throughout my life, I went from my like surf flap stage, a spiky stage, Caesar stage, messy stage, which I feel like is still a bit of the stage. And yeah. It is so tied to uh, different looks. You know, if I'm dressed up, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably comb it and put a part in it. I'm gonna if I'm like playing some music, I'm probably gonna mess it up a little bit. If I'm on a date, I might do somewhere in between. And it's like n not having that at all um, really not only takes away a piece of your identity, but it, it made me feel old. Like it made me feel like, oh man, I just I just don't look that good. And what's crazy is that. I didn't even realize how far it had receded until mm -hmm. I see pictures now, like, you know, when Facebook reminds you that you're here, blah, 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 three years ago, I was like, wow, look at my hair. It's crazy. You know, it's almost like um, if you have a relative that you only see once a year, you don't notice how they grow. 
you know? Right. And then if you don't see them for five years and they're like five feet taller, you're like, wow, that is a huge right. difference. And that's kind of what it was like for, for the hair thing. Like I didn't realize it until I had my original like OG hairline from like a long time ago that it was like, wow, it really had moved back more than I'd thought. Um, right. So I had been thinking about it for a while, but like hair transplants are expensive. Uh, you know, uh, if you try to get a hair transplant in the States, you know, where I live, I'm, I'm outside of LA, like where you were, it's $6 per follicle. So that think sounds about like that. a lot. And I did 3,700 okay. <laughs> follicles. So that's oh $24,000. It's like as much that's... as a, like a big boob job or something, you know, like a, a big time plastic surgery. That's absurd. It's a yeah, lot. That's a lot of money. Yeah. That would price a lot of people out. A hundred percent. And like in other places in the country that aren't, you know, LA, you maybe can find three or $4 per follicle, but you're still looking at like 15 grand, you know, it's yeah, still like a yeah. real investment. So it was sort of in the back of my mind for a while. And then I had this idea. I've got a buddy who has a YouTube channel, a family based YouTube channel that has like, they've got like three and a half million subscribers or something. Mm -hmm. And I wrote him one day, this was like 20, this was like early, like maybe May, 2021. And I, no, it was earlier than that. It was probably February. And I said, dude, um, he's got this huge following. And I thought, oh, maybe I can like latch on to his gigantic following. But he and I could go do some kind of like YouTube y, like, let's film getting a hair transplant thing. You know, I could, I could uh, attach myself to his three and a half million subscribers with my 25,000 subscribers. And combined, mm -hmm. we'd have three point, you know, seven, five million or whatever or 3.075 million. Um, and so I was like, dude, have you ever thought about getting a hair transplant? And he's like, bro, I'm going in 10 days. And I'm like, what, who, when, wow. You know, I was like, what, what, tell me about it. So, yeah. So you just looked at, you see, you looked at his YouTube and you looked at his hairline and you're like, he probably wants this too. Having no idea he was already planning on doing this. No, he was a good buddy of mine. Like I, yeah, okay. I mean, we talk, like I wasn't, he wasn't some rando that I was like, yo, you ever thought about getting a hair transplant? So, <laughs> No, he was a buddy of mine and, and I just wrote him I, sort of out of the blue because I knew that he's the way he runs his business and I know he travels a lot and he's sort of like, he's a pretty innovative dude. He would probably be open to it. Like we've done videos installing his home theater. Like I got him all these speakers and stuff um, through, from my other podcast called Beginner Audiophile and we outfitted his home theater and we made a whole video series about that. And so I thought if there's anybody that would be down, it'd be this dude. So I wrote him and I said, dude, have you ever thought about getting hair transplant? He's like, bro, I'm going in 10 days. So I said, tell me the deal. And he gave me all the information. And the guy's mm -hmm. name is Dr. Sinek, which is C-I-N-I-K. Mm -hmm. um, and if you, uh, by the way, if you guys want to, if you want to talk to me at all about any of this stuff, um, it's at Solo Hour on Instagram, S-O-L-O-H-O-U-R. Just write me on Instagram and I will answer your questions. I've also done three videos on this. So before you get into all those questions, we will direct you via the show notes to those videos. And then I'll answer the questions. And if you're interested, I will introduce you to the, to the folks at Dr. Sinek um, via WhatsApp is how they do it. And I'll explain more nice. about all that stuff later. So thank you. And you've sent a bunch of people there now. Uh, like 20. Yeah. yeah it's so like a lot of people. Fun. Like they owe me a, a Bentley or something uh, at that place. You but should be getting commissions. Seriously. Um, I seriously should. Anyway. Um, so I, I, what they have you do, he introduced me to the person and I said, look, I've got a YouTube channel, blah, blah. Would you guys be willing to work with me a little bit? And they were. And so <clears throat> they, um, they want full pictures of your head. You need to see if you're eligible for this transplant. And right out of the gates, I'm going to explain to you guys the, the two different kinds of transplants that have been sort of out in the world. One is where they take literally like a strip of the back of your scalp. Like they'll cut like a square. Think of it like a piece of sod. And they cut this square out. It's more like a long rectangle. And then they you stitch your, your what's that? Of your skin? Yeah, they literally cut like a square, like literally like a piece of sod from, uh, from your head and the back of your mm -hmm. head. And then they stitch it okay. together. So your scalp sort of like gets sewn together a little bit. And then they take that little chunk that they've just done and they divide it into like, they literally cut the individual hair squares out. 
And that's what they put in. Um, that's the older school method. The one I did, and the one they do at my place, Dr. Sinek's office, is they literally extract every individual follicle and they put those follicles into a Petri dish and then they separate those into ones, twos, and threes because your follicles have one, two, or three hairs. And then they individually oh. poke as many holes as necessary and they plant those follicles in your head. So it's a very time consuming process. But once it heals, you're not like, you don't miss a giant chunk out of the back of your head. And they basically like take a checkerboard pattern from your donor area. So it, so I didn't know anything about anything. Right. But my buddy had just gone. We were still mid COVID. So I scheduled my appointment for, it was like June, 2021. And the world was mm -hmm. still very shut down, especially in Istanbul, which is where a huge uh, portion of hair transplants happen in the world. And, like, they're and just, why is that? I don't really know, but they really have it locked down. There's, there's a handful of doctors there that are great at it, and it's all they do. Like my guy, Dr. Sinek, has done over 10,000 procedures. And he was a regular doctor before all of this. And then he okay. just found his niche. In fact, I interviewed him on my podcast, if you guys want uh, more background on that. But um, he just got into this years ago and he's done like over 10,000 procedures. And so I, uh, I, I booked it. It was middle of COVID. So airline prices were super cheap. So I booked a first class ticket uh, from LAX. And um, I will spare you the travel nightmare that was traveling internationally to a red country during COVID, mm. uh, which yep. was ridiculous. In fact, I got to England and they had canceled my, they had canceled all British Airways flights to Turkey. Ugh, so I was stuck gosh. in uh, England there for a day, but neither here nor there. Um, so that's, that was the gist of the kind of origin of why I did it and where I ended up. And I'm going to shut up now and let you ask a question. Okay. I have two questions. So you go to Istanbul because this doctor has done it 10,000 times, but also because it's much more cost effective than doing it in LA or anywhere in the U S right? hundred percent. Yeah. So there, um, and thank you for bringing that up. I didn't even think about that. Um, let's see, Dr. Sinek. Yeah, I think, let me see what he charges. So it's emrasinek.com. It's E M R A H C I N I K. And the prices, I think I got the fancy one, the all-inclusive manual FUE package. Um, it's 3,200 euros for the whole thing. Total. Total. And that's as many that's, as you need. Like there's no- amazing. So it's not per follicle. It's not per like follicle. In the US. Yeah. It's 32. And I, I want to say that the euro right now is about the same price as the dollar. Um, yeah, that's not bad. Even if it was, you know, back at 1.5, that's still not it is, bad. It is literally one to one right now. So like okay. when I was in Europe, um, in 2009, it was like 1.3 to one. So it was super expensive. Um, yeah. but yeah, so basically 3,200 bucks for the really fancy one. And then there's another one that is 2280. And let me see what the difference is. Um, blah, 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 PR. So you get PRP with it. You get. Um, Talk about that. Talk about PRP. It's a uh, platelet rich plasma. They give you um, uh, an, in an injection basically that helps, um, helps your body, uh, uh, helps stem your own body's growth mechanism. Um, so it's. And they use it for a lot of things like injuries. Yeah. They use it for facials. They use it for using the body's ability to heal itself naturally. So I think it's a I think it's a cutting edge, cool thing that you can do for a lot of things. I was interested that they did it there. Yeah, they do so it it's at like Johns a, Hopkins. You get these platelets, and it's like um, it uh, it's like a, a bunch of red and white blood cells, basically. And when they send it to a certain spot, your body reacts in a way that it send it says, "Oh, something's wrong here." And it sends more uh, basic, like it sends more white and um, uh, red, blood, red blood, cells. blood cells that way. Yeah. And so. Yeah. So, so the plasma is 
from the blood. It's Correct. the liquid portion of the blood. And so it's got like healing mechanisms. That's why it's literally regenerative medicine. It's using your own body from different places to regenerate in other places. Like I, I know people use it, especially um, for ligament, knee injuries, all that kind of stuff. People use it on their face to regenerate, to anti-age themselves. So it's just this really cool technology that you can use these days. Right. Yeah, that's very true. Um, so they, they do that. You get there. They, they give you a, um, anyway, so it's about 3,300 bucks and then you've got to get there. I would highly recommend, um, just to be comfortable it, like, don't just put yourself in a middle seat and coach. Um, yeah. How long is that flight? Well, I mean, I don't know. From, okay, it's so long, 14 hours yes, or something. It's far. It's far. Yeah. I mean, you're, it's, it's basically the middle East, <laughs> you know, you're no matter where you're coming from, from the U S yeah, it's, it's, it's it gotta takes, be what? Yeah. It takes a minute. Let's see. Hour minimum. So it took, um, how long did it take me to get to England? Like, um, 10, 10, 11 hours to England and then like another four to Turkey or something like that. Okay. Yeah. So it's a, yeah, it's a huff, you know, but when you get there, here's the thing. When you get there, they, their idea, they realize that you've just come from the other side of the world. It's almost like yeah. you can go to Mexico to get dental treatment. Like when you live in San Diego or Texas and you can go right over the border and get mm -hmm. like kind of amazing dental work for you know, a third of the cost. And mm -hmm. they, when you do that, they really go out of their way to accommodate because they realize that it's like, you're going to kind of a third world country to, to, to get stuff done. So they want to make it feel as, as modern as they can. And a lot of these people have been trained. I forget where my guy was trained. He was trained in the States, my doctor. I forget where he mm -hmm. went, but he was like in Boston or something. You know, these are, these are just, it, it's just the way it, it operates. Um, they really try to accommodate your, your, your woes. So in this case, the second you land in Istanbul, you, you know, you're going down the escalator, you've got the guy holding the sign with your name on it. They, nice. they put That's you good, especially for women traveling 100%. alone. Cause by the way, women do this too. They do. You told me that more women do this than men actually. Really? Wow. I think you told me oh, that. Oh no, I did not tell you that. Maybe JLD oh. did. Okay. Someone told me. Somebody, One of y'all told me. Yeah. But, but definitely people for sure. Um, and I had a black guy that reached out and they're like, Dude, does it work on black guys? Like totally. There was like three black dudes in there when I was there for sure. It works on, if you have hair, it works on you. If you have hair and you're okay. a person, but it probably yeah. would even work if you had a dog that had alopecia or something. Um, Aww. anyway, so as soon as you land, they, the guys there, and then they put you into a Mercedes limo and they take you to like a five-star hotel. It's, and it's all covered. It's all part of the cost of this. They cover That's your so food. Nice. They cover the hotel. Like you're just supposed to be there and be able to relax and enjoy it. And I got to say, I can't wait and I'll get into the procedure in a second, but I cannot wait to go back to Istanbul as a tourist because it is friggin' amazing. Like it's yeah. unbelievable. The food's amazing. The vibrancy is amazing. Just hearing people's conversations like, chah, 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 chah. like it's just really amazing, like vibrant community. And it's really East meets West. You, like quite literally, there's a river between uh, East and West. Like you've got Asia on literally on the other side of the river. And it's all part of Istanbul. So there's like an Asian side and, and a Western side. So it's very cool. That is cool. Yeah. This absolutely riveting episode, if I do say so myself, of Food Heals is sponsored by Sam Bucall. All right, it's still hot here, but fall is right around the corner. I'm looking forward to some pumpkin spice, cooler weather, layers, lots of fall flavors, Halloween. It, it feels like a mini reset when the seasons change. I don't know about you, but it's nice to assess your current wellness routines. Ask yourself, what is serving me? What isn't serving me? What do I need to change? What do I need to add to aid me in my wellness journey? And what's going to taste really good? Because I don't know about you, but if my vitamin tinctures or anything I'm taking doesn't taste good or I can't mix it in with a smoothie and make it taste good, I'm not going to take it. This is where Sam Bucall comes in. I take their black elderberry in the morning, helps support my immune system so I can keep going through my day every single day. You know I can get like the Energizer Bunny. I'm type A. I got to cross things off that to-do list. So 
I need that energy. I need those vitamins. I need to be super boosted. And it's an easy, simple act of self-care that I can do without a lot of effort. And I can also add it to food and drink. I put it in smoothies sometimes. Sometimes I just take it straight up. Just two tablespoons of the Sambucol Black Elderberry Syrup. So I take it like a shot or I add it to a smoothie. It's sweet, it's delicious, and it's just an extra kick of immune support. It's made from European black premium elderberries. They are natural sources of powerful antioxidants with key vitamins like A, C, and E. So I'd say these are nature's super berries. The syrup is the original product and it's great. They also have gummies, chewable tablets, drink powders, capsules, and more. All of the products are vegan, yay, except the throat lozenges, excuse me, which do have honey. They are gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, and soy-free with no artificial colors or flavors. And don't worry, moms and dads, they got your back because they have products made for kids and even babies. So put it in your coffee, put it in your smoothie, take it like a shot, drizzle it over yogurt or overnight oats, whatever you want to do. Food Heals Nation can get 15% off your next order of $9.99 or more at sambucolusa.com. And of course, use my promo code FOODHEALS15 at checkout. And while you're there, you can check out the blog and see all of the other amazing recipes that you can make with the Sambu Call Syrup. They have ones from simple smoothies to mocktails to healthy vegan baked goods. Don't forget to use my code FOODHEALS15 to get 15% off your order of $9.99 or more. You're a year out now, a little over a year, right? So I want to hear about how the procedure went and then how how it is now. Because, you know, you look great. Our friend uh, Mark, who just said it looks great. Like, yeah. I wouldn't even, I don't even remember you guys having receding hairlines. But I, yeah, I, I want to hear about the procedure. Like, okay, they sit you down. They, they take the follicles out. When you remove follicles, that doesn't mean you're losing hair. You're just kind of regenerating the hair somewhere else. So I want you to take me through that journey. So um, the first thing they do is when you get there, they need to give you a blood test. So you need to make sure that you don't have hepatitis or HIV or any you know weird stuff that you're bringing with you. So that's the very first thing you do. And then they take you to the hotel and then you can sort of relax and go, you know, blah, blah, blah. Nice. Um, the procedure day, they picked me up at whatever it was, 7.30 or 8 or something like that. And it, it was actually pretty funny because, you know, we'd made all these arrangements because I have a YouTube channel and podcasts and all this stuff. So they had their entire social media camera team follow me around like full on paparazzi for the whole day. Yeah, that day. was cool because you watch the videos so on your um, Solopreneur Hour uh, YouTube channel. You have videos of yourself. And normally, you know, you film all the videos yourself. I know how you do it. You know, you set up the camera and you talk to the camera. But you had these beautiful shots with yeah. like rack focus of like, yeah. and I was like, oh. This is pretty amazing. Yeah, it was like beautifully <laughs> edited. Yeah, it was it was very cool actually. Um, I mean, literally, as the van pulled up and the door opened, they were there. They were like waiting as I got out of the van and and went in. And it was it was a little like, you know, I'm certainly a Z-list celebrity uh, everywhere. Maybe in a couple of rooms, if there's if my dog's there, I move up a couple of slots. But um, that made me feel very very celebrity like. So you were on your own reality show. A hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) So there's a whole thing that had, first of all, the facility is unbelievable. Like it's beautiful. It is a beautiful, polished, lovely place. And then it it was hard to tell, but I think everyone's beautiful as well. I think the whole thing, like the staff, I think all the staff, I think all the guys are very handsome and all the women are very beautiful in there. Everyone had masks on. So I, every once in a while I said, can you just take your mask down so I can see your face for a second? Um, but everyone's like really happy. You know, you have a, you have a translator with you at all times, Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. in case you need to obviously say something and someone doesn't know English, which is not a thing like that is a, they don't speak a lot of English there. It's not, you know, it's not one of those very ethnocentric countries where like they, they, you know, they're English speaking on the backside. Some of them do, but that is not the default. Okay. Um, and so you have a translator. And, um, the first thing you do is they bring you upstairs to take before photos and they have a full photo studio with a, you know, a backdrop that says Dr. Sinek on the back and they take front, left, right, back, top, you know, um, and they do a, like a little, 
at least in my case, they did a little quick little interview video. And then you go and do one of the more fascinating things I've ever done in my life, which is I got to go shave my own head. Like I was heading out to Nam. Like oh, wow. it was crazy just to have a, 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 you know, a set of clippers and just go like just through my hair. It was like, wow. And they do that because it gets pretty bloody. You know, this is a, your scalp is super, uh, what's the right word for that? Um, uh, what's the word where there's a lot of blood in the place? Oh, I don't know. Porous. No, uh, you guys are all saying it into your phones right now, but you know what I'm talking about? Um, Anyway, so there's a lot of there. They they do that so you don't just get you know the hair, and they want to be able to see and stuff like that. So you got to shave your your head. Um, actually, I'm lying. That's not the next thing happens. So the, the ha what happens before that is you go into Doctor Sinek's office, and so he's the guy that, in a laser guided way, um, makes your new hairline. So he draws your new hairline from scratch. He uses these tools to make it you know, um, symmetrical. Mm -hmm. And it's very funny because, you know, I've, I've been a designer for forever. Um, I did it for a living for 15 years. There's, mm -hmm. I've never had a client that didn't want their logo bigger. That literally, it just never happened. Yeah. Every single one's like, Oh, can you just make the logo like a little bigger? I'm like, Oh, shocker. Um, there's never been a hair transplant person that didn't want their hairline lower. Like in the history of people, they uh -huh. just, okay. So he, so he draws it on. You're like a little. You're like, lower. oh yeah, it's supposed to be a little lower. And then, so I brought I as a joke. I had uh, taped my boy band pictures to my shirt as I walked in. So I was like, yeah, this oh, is wow. this is what we're going for. Mm -hmm. And I I thought I was being funny, and the doctor was like, yeah, that's what you're gonna look like. I'm like, shut up. And <laughs> sure enough, like it really did get back to that point, which was crazy. Um. Anyway, so I had these pictures. So I, you know, and that's super helpful, you guys. If you have older pictures of your pre-receding hairline, bring as many as you can to these things. They want to see what you actually looked like. And so um, he, I said, uh, he drew it on. I said, oh God, it seems a little high. Um, and then what we did is we took a scale ruler and we took the picture and we ex measured precisely where my hairline was compared to like, mm -hmm. you know, the top of my, wherever it was. And mine was a quarter inch down and his was on the money. And I was like, I was like, or you're the one who's done this 10,000 times and I should shut up now. Like that's how right, I, right. I said, yeah, I'm going to shut <laughs> so up. So trust the doctor yeah, in this case. <laughs> just, I'm going to let you do your thing. So mm -hmm. then I go in and, and get my, uh, I go and shave my head, which is bonkers. And I have this in my second video. Um, I did it and I got about three like full shaves into it. And I just said, guys, we should just leave it like this. Like it looked like I was in a, a post-apocalyptic uh, world and my hair was falling out. Right. I was like, I should make I this know. my new Tinder profile. Um, I wonder if they would do, do women have to shave their head as well? Cause I think that would be very, very hard and emotional it, for me. It would. And you don't, there are, okay. um, there are people that are in different um, like it's, it's the best way. But there are definitely people, a guy that I was, um, that was in the same time as me, and you barely see people. They're doing about eight or nine or 10 people a day, but you don't ever wow. see each other. Okay. Like you're, they have multiple rooms, but you're all like rotating through. The place ran like full clockwork. It was really amazing how cool. their staff yeah. just runs people through. They probably have like a hundred staff members there. Like it's a big operation. So, mm -hmm. um, we, uh, you know, so I shaved it and then the guy finishes it off and then you're there and you're like, okay, here we, here we are. Um, I'm super bald. I look like an Eastern European hitman now. And then we go into the room and again, because of this weird social media thing, I had 20 people in my room. It was like a whole oh thing. God. I was like looking around going, really? This is a lot of people. But I think there was probably five or six like physically there working while I was working. Um, and so this is where they like, so far it's been like up easy, easy peasy the whole time. And now it comes time to numb your head. Oh God. Now, I don't know if you know this, Allie, but <laughs> your brain is very close to your head. It's really oh close. Yeah. And there's a lot of nerves in your scalp. So the numbing process 
everyone's like, was it painful? I'm like, well, out of a scale of one to 10, it was about an 11. Um, Damn. It is a- Just for the numbing. Just, it's a 10 minutes of bite down on a belt. Holy shit, this hurts. Pain. Like it was crazy. So what are they numbing you with? I'm get like Novocaine, I guess. I don't know. Whatever, yeah, what whatever they do. And then people say, oh, okay. can't they just knock you out? And it's like, they probably could somewhere, but that's a totally different medical procedure. Then you have to have an anesthesiologist, yeah. I'm sure different licensing. You may not be able to do yeah. that internationally. Like there's a whole thing there. So this is local anesthetic. They give you a, a Valium just to try to chill you out a little bit. And then I got the thing where it's, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It reminds me of like a Star Trek thing where they have this spring loaded. It just goes and it just fires like almost like a pre numbing thing into your brain. You feel, you feel a quick pinch into it's, your brain. You mean into your head, into your head. what I say? Brain, uh, into your scalp. <laughs> you brain. I'm like, yeah, right no. in your brain. Um, yeah. Right through your skull. No, um, they do a little thing. And honestly, I don't know if it did anything. It, it didn't feel like it did anything. Um, then they take basically like a, like, you know, like an insulin needle, the really tiny, thin needle. Okay. And I probably got 80 shots in my head oh, or something. Oh my God. Okay. And it's like, the first one was so surprisingly pain. I was like, holy shit, this is crazy. So what we would do is, and I, by the way, may be more sensitive than others. Cause I've heard other people go, oh, yeah, it was, was kind of hurt, but it wasn't that bad. I was like, oh my God, for me, it was crazy. So your yeah, experience yeah. might not be the bad, but for me, it was every seven or eight shots. I'm, I'm, I'm out of breath. I'm sweating. I'm crying. I'm like, okay, hold on. Let me get my, okay. 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 Go, 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 go. And they were like, pop, pop, pop. I'm like, all right, stop, 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 stop. And I have to like, that was, I probably did that four or five times. That repeat. This is the part I don't know if I could get it's through. Brutal. <laughs> it's brutal, but it's 10 minutes and then you're done. And that's All it. Right, it's 10 minutes of pain it's 10 minutes of your of life. Shit. And then you're good. Here's the deal, you guys. This never will bald. This hair will be here until I'm in the grave. This this wow. hair doesn't re-bald. So I have a head of hair now. Like that's just how it is. So for the rest of your life. For Grandpa the rest, Michael. Grandpa Michael <laughs> will have a lovely head of hair. It might wow. be gray, but it's gonna be full and lush and finger running through worthy. So, and you just got to stay in the, you know, you got to stay in the pocket and just go, all right, this is just what it is right now. I'm going to deal yeah. with this. I'm going to find a little mental happy place. And then honestly, after that, after the numbing and you're numb, you're just numb, numb. Um, I want to say that I, I think I was down first. I think they flip you on your, almost like it's like a shiatsu type uh, massage chair deal where your mm -hmm. face is in like a ring. And I just put my audio book on. I was listening to some book and I just, see you later. You know, I'm out. And they spend about four hours uh, extracting. You know, again, they're going individually. They have, I don't know what they're doing, but they're going individually and getting each follicle out. And they're putting them into Petri dishes. And then you take a lunch break. They give you a lunch, um, which is fine. And then you're on your back. And you know, I'm falling asleep. Like, well, most of the time I'm like mm -hmm. in and out of sleep for this full eight hours, it's about eight hours for this full okay. eight hours. And it was, uh, it was fine. You know, you just, you, the doctor comes in and does your first few rows so that it's like a natural hairline. And then his mm -hmm. staff just like fires in the rest basically. Just fills them in. Okay. Yeah. Cause there's so a, there's he, a, he makes sure it's the perfect hairline that you want. Yeah. And then they go, all right, we got this. And it, and by the way, if it's not, you know, cause for a while there, like when it was done, I was like, God, this is so sharp and apparent that it's a, it's, you know, a hair transplant. Cause when you look at people's hairlines, they're totally imperfect, you know? And mm -hmm. this was like too perfect. So this is too perfect. it was, but like, as it's, as it's gone, it's, it has softened as, as you know, the months have now the year has gone by. Um, anyway, so then you do that and you, uh, they put this big bandage on the back of your head. Cause they've just taken, in my case, I got 8,000 holes in my head in one day. Wow. Yeah. And they're just tiny micro needling. Tiny holes little them. micro holes. Okay. You know, it's a, okay. it's literally a hair follicle. So they have a, yeah. uh, it's a little bigger on the back. Like, cause they're pulling, you know, think about like, if you had to pull a tree out of your yard, you have to get the dirt around the roots. 
you know? Mm. And that's basically what this is. They're, they're doing that. And then they're poking a hole and planting the tree. So there's, you know, between the whatever 80 shots and the 3,700 out, 3,700 in, uh, whatever that is, you know, it's 7,800 holes in my head or something. Um, so you're on, you know, you, you get done your, your head looks like almost like a, where they, where they planted the hairs looks like kind of a horseshoe generally in my case, if you, everyone's is going to look different depending on how they were balding. And then they put this big bandage on the back of your head. And I was so self-conscious about it, you guys. And then when you get out, once you, you have to go eat, you know, at some point you have to get out in the world and you know, I'm in my hotel room. They give you like a, a like a, you can't sleep obviously on your, your head. So they give you a, like a horseshoe pillow thing, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah. And like a plane, like you take on the plane. Exactly. So you have that for a little while, but, um, you get real, like, I was all self-conscious about it. And you look around in Turkey, all there is is guys walking around with these things on their head. Like, there's oh my God, that's so hun- funny. <laughs> like you go to any market or something and there's a hundred dudes with these things, like the big bandages on the back of your head. You're so just that was like, high five. <laughs> yeah. What's up, man? You're going to look great. So, um, I was, I full on tourist style the next day. Like I was just all over the place the next day. Um, so, so there's no downtime for no. this. Like you're not in pain the next day. You're not like, Oh my know, God, this hurts so bad. Yeah. You're, you're sore in a way that a, an, an Advil can take care of, you know? Okay. It's not. Okay. So not bad. No, it's, you know, whatever, but I will you're say. You're not in bed. You're not bedridden. You're up and about. Yeah. You're up and about. I was up and about. Um, That's good. when I went back, so you go back the next day and they, um, they have this aloe treatment that they put on the back of your head just to, just to chill it out a little bit. That was like, if, if the, the numbing pain was an 11, the aloe was like a solid nine. Like it was so stingy for like 10 seconds. I'm like, Holy moly. I did not expect that. But yeah. And they give you like a sort of, it looks like almost this uh, foamy mustard stuff to kind of wash your head. And then you have, then you're, that's it. You're home. You go, you leave the next day. Um, same drill. I was like super concerned about it, but you're on a plane and there's a hundred other dudes with hair things in the back of their head. So you go, all right, whatever it is what it is. Um, so you do that and then it's about, you've got to really follow all the directions for a week. You put like kid shampoo. They have their own whole line of shampoos and things like that, that I did not Mm -hmm. take with me because they were too big, but you get all the medication and all the care products. Um, they give you everything you need. They have these beautiful packets of information on exactly what to do and how to do it. There's also plenty of YouTube videos that can show you like how to care for it. And so, mm-hmm. you know, within a week you can wear a hat. So you're cool. You can, you're, you're, you can just be hat guy for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's fine. Like you actually, once the scabs kind of go away, you've got this little, these little baby hairs that are sticking out. It just looks like you're, it literally looks like you're you're balding and you've shaved your head. This is what it looks like. And you go, okay, so this looks pretty good. I'm, I'm okay with this. And then um, it all falls out. <laughs> so you go, damn it. Because what happens oh is the, the, the follicle roots in your scalp and it starts growing the hair. But the hair that was already in there gets pushed out. So the hair that was in there when they pulled it so you, so it looks like you've got, I'm like, cool, I'm making progress. And then it all falls out and you go, okay. Um, after three months though, you can really stop, like you can stop telling anybody you had a hair transplant. Like, you know, wow, if, yeah. if, you know what I mean? And at six months, you might as well, like you never have to say it again. And certainly after a year, it's just like, whatever, you got a full head of hair. And I still find mine coming in. Like I still feel, um, you get a bunch of ingrown hairs that happens a ton. Um, mm-hmm. you know, it's itchy. That's, that's the other thing. It gets itchy for a while. You've got, there's an itchy phase for the first couple of months that you go, Oh God, this mm-hmm. is crazy. And you can't really itch it. You can't really scratch it. Um, okay. Yeah. You, might, you don't want to rip those falls. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be gentle with it, but, but, um, but whatever, it's fine. It's like you, it's this lovely slow process where you're like, God, is it, did this thing work? Is it going to be good? And then all of a sudden, you look at yourself and you go, wow, this actually looks pretty good. I'm, I'm starting to style these parts of my hair that I literally haven't had for years. Yeah. Which is super cool. 
So, which is so exciting, especially for you as a drummer, that is a part of your identity for so long. I can't imagine like, I'm so grateful. I still have my hair, but like, I can't imagine if I start to lose it, I'm going straight to Istanbul. Like, let me tell you a hundred percent. Yeah. It's, it's, um, the, the, well, so I guess that's the other part is the psychological impact of it yeah. has been profound. It is, okay. it is the fact that I can now, I have multiple ways I can style my hair again. Um, mm -hmm. I get compliments on it. Oh, you have such a nice head of hair. I'm like, thanks. I'm bought and paid for, you know? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, totally. It's like someone with a boo job. You're like, oh, you have nice boobies. I mean, which you can't really say as much anymore. But um, I'm kidding. Um, so it's it's like the to be able to, I don't know, see yourself in the mirror again, like you have for your whole life. And yeah. and now, like when I see the pictures of me the day of, like the day of the hair transplant, I took a few pictures on my phone. I went, oh my God, I was way, way, way more receded than I realized. Right. Now that it's where it is, you go, holy moly, that was like, that was some uh, uh, world-class hairstyling to even make it seem like I had a head of hair. But I had a definite five head, you know, for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My forehead had been uh, eliminated. I was into the five head. So it was Peyton Manning all of a sudden. <laughs> Food Heals Nation, if you're like me, you care about beauty, but you don't want to compromise your health for beauty. And that's why I only choose products that are paraben-free, sulfate-free, phthalate-free, certified 100% vegan, and cruelty-free. That's why I love Thrive Cosmetics. They have those beautiful, high-performance beauty and skincare products made with clean, skin-loving ingredients. So I love the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. It's actually their best-selling product, and it has more than 20,000 five-star reviews. I wish I had that many five-star reviews of this podcast. <laughs> but the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara is ultra-lengthening, and it's eye-opening. It lasts all day. It doesn't clump. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't flake. And I can attest to that. It really works. It kind of mimics the look of lash extensions without damaging glue or expensive salon prices. It's clean. They've got nourishing ingredients to support longer, stronger, and healthier-looking lashes over time. Easy to take off, easy to put on. It's no soap required. So now is a great time to try Thrive Cosmetics for yourself. Right now, you can get 15% off your first order when you visit thrivecosmetics.com slash foodheals. Make sure you know how to spell it, okay? It's Thrive Cosmetics, C-A-U-S-E, as in cause. C-A-U-S-E-M-E-T-I-C-S dot com slash foodheals to save 15% off your first order. Let me tell you about two more products I love the Brilliant Eye Brightener. That is the cream to powder highlighting stick that brightens and opens the eyes, giving you an instant eye lift. It helps you look like you've had plenty of restful sleep, even if you haven't. You'll have a vibrant, well-rested look, and they have 13 shimmering shades for you to choose from. They also have this great liquid lip balm treatment. It's a leave-on serum treatment that nourishes and restores dry, dull, dehydrated lips. It gives your lips a smooth and glossy look. It plumps and soothes the look of fine lines for soft, supple lips. So check it out, Food Heals Nation, the liquid lip balm treatment, the brilliant eye brightener, and the liquid lash mascara. Again, everything is over at thrivecosmetics.com slash food heals. It's called cause for a reason because their mission is called bigger than beauty. And for every product purchased, Thrive Cosmetics donates to help communities thrive, and they have over 300 giving partners across the country supporting numerous causes that matter. So again, it's thrivecosmetics.com slash foodheals and get 15% off your first order. Food Heals Nation, is your garden ready for this winter? Are you growing cover crops? Growing cover crops is an essential part of maintaining the health of your garden soil. Cover crops can perform a huge variety of different tasks that will all benefit your garden, including nitrogen and potassium fixation, rapid biomass growth for green manure and soil cover, preventing erosion, attracting beneficial insects, and repelling harmful insects, soil aeration, suppression of weed growth, and helping soil stay alive and more. And True Leaf Market has actually been the 
choice of over a million growers for heirloom and garden seeds since 1974. You can learn more over at trueleafmarket.com. And right now is the ideal time to rehabilitate your garden soil by growing a cover crop. Cover crops can be grown in backyard gardens, raised beds, and even container gardens. Cover crop seeds are incredibly inexpensive, actually under $25 for most backyard gardens, and that includes shipping. So check it all out. You can order online right now at trueleafmarket.com. Use promo code FH15 to save 15% off your cover crop seeds. Some restrictions may apply. Simply plant your cover crop seeds at the end of the gardening season, let winter kill or terminate the crop and mother nature does the rest again it's all over at trueleafmarket.com use promo code fh15 to save 15 percent off your cover crop seeds yeah the reason i wanted to share this story is because i think it's important to realize that we have options but every option has a cost right and the cost of this is financial but very very low as we've described as compared to doing it in the US and like you got yourself a first class ticket because it's still lower than the cost of actually you know getting it done anywhere in the United States um, it has the pain for the 10 minutes of immense pain it's got a little bit of after pain but all in all that cost to me is so much more worth it than going to the doctor and popping like a Propecia pill every day or taking a Rogaine because the long-term costs and the short-term costs of those are so much worse. So I had an ex who took Propecia and Rogaine, no other drugs, and had all of the side effects that are listed on the website. Like mm. literally, you saw the side effect, he had them. And they're terrible. They are awful. And it's not worth it. That To me, that's not worth it. So if I was going bald, I would rather go bald than take one of those pills because the side effects are horrifying. But if this is an option, that's why I want people to know. This is like your alternative to not taking a drug for the rest of your life to have nice hair. And for the cost of, you know, 10 minutes of pain and a great trip. Sounds like you had a great time in Turkey. Oh, <laughs> man. I, I literally can't. There's a place I can't wait to go back and eat the sandwich. I'm like, I have to get back there to eat. One of my questions on my show, I've asked a few people, I said, if you could, for some of the people that I've known have been out in the world and traveled as much, I was like, if you could get on a plane right now and go anywhere in the world and eat the best meal you've ever had, where would you go and what, what's the meal? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. um, that sandwich I had in, in Istanbul might be right. And it's just a salami sandwich or something. It's like, you know. It's just, but it's, God, it was so good. I was like, what, where am I right now? Is this just me being hungry or is this the best thing I've ever had? Um, Does Turkey have any vegan food for me? I don't know. The uh, Probably. There's lots of hummus and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very okay. Mediterranean in a lot of ways. So yeah. Yeah. Sure. That's what I was going to say. Like, what is their typical, if it's Mediterranean, then there's definitely options. Yeah, for sure. I, and there was a lot of Italian. There was a lot of Mediterranean. It's, a, it's sort of a melting pot. Um, okay. The, I haven't taken a drug ever for, for hair, anything. I haven't done any Rogaine. I haven't done any of that stuff. So yeah. I don't know if I'm supposed to, you know, they, they talk about it a bit on the website and, and what it's, what it's about, but like, I don't, um, it's not something that I, I, I have done or, or have needed to do at all. Yeah. I mean, I'm literally on the website side effects of propecia, impotence, loss of interest in sex, trouble having an orgasm, abnormal ejaculation, swelling in your hands and feet, swelling or tenderness in your breast, dizziness, weakness, feeling like you might pass out, headache, runny nose, skin rash, like breast lumps, breast pain. It goes on and on and on. So I just want people to know, like, if you're considering this, if you're like, hey, guys, like, I want to have good hair again, you absolutely can without drugs and do exactly what Michael did. I think yeah. that is like, just the message I want to get out um, because I think this is, I understand. I, I like, I understand women want breasts. I understand women want nice teeth. I understand men want good hair. Like we want these things and there's no shame in that. It is psychological. I want to feel my best every day when I leave my house or when I have to be on a, on a, you know, zoom or whatever. And there's no shame in that. And I think it's just like, okay, well, what can we do drug free naturally? There are so many options mm. today. That's why I wanted to share your story. Well, there's a ton of, uh, by the way, I, I didn't mention the actual, sort of trade name, which is called F U E. That's the, the okay. type of, um, the procedure they do. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's all over their website. Um, which again is emracynic.com. 
and you can reach out to me um, and I'm happy to answer any question you guys have about any of any of the stuff, testosterone or the hair transplant. Uh, just These are just two things that I think every guy over the age of 35 should be paying attention to. Um, I think there's a, a, a fair bit of losing our identity as a man, as, as the masculine, especially in a relationship. If we have low testosterone, if we have uh, hair loss, which by the way, are typically at odds, you know, typically you lose hair cause you have too much testosterone, but, um, but in general, mm-hmm. they're both very fixable. And I, you know, it's just one of those things that like, if, if we, uh, if we address those, it's going to make the rest of our lives better. It's going to make our relationships better. I can, I can 100% say that when I walk out into the world, I'm a more confident version of myself, uh, thanks to these two things. Uh, even one of them by itself would be just as good. Uh, but now that I've doubled them up and I'm, I've, you know, I'm on this TRT, which is the the testosterone replacement therapy. And with the hair transplant, you know, it's not like, it's not midlife crisis. It's absolutely life crisis. Um, I think people just need to know the difference between how they feel. And that, you know, when we talk about the testosterone thing, it's just like, it's just like the hair thing. You don't really notice it until you check and go, wow, it is way lower than I thought it was. Let me address this. And this is the same thing with the the hair deal. So, yeah, I've experienced that many times in my life. Like, um, when I went plant-based and I go, Oh my God, I can have all this energy and I don't have to be chronically fatigued all the time. And that's what worked for me. But you don't even, I didn't even realize how tired I had gotten until I wasn't as tired anymore. And I was like, Oh, (laughs) I can feel better. You know, in my thirties, we age and we make these assumptions that everything has to go a certain way. And it doesn't, especially with technology today, but also with what we put in our body, but also with the things that we surround ourselves all with, with the people we surround ourselves with, with the podcasts we listen to, with the beliefs that we have about our bodies, about ourselves, about our abilities in this world. And so I really appreciate you um, coming on the show today, Michael. And Food Heals Nation, if you want to learn more, you can watch his videos. They're on the Solopreneur Hour uh, podcast on um, YouTube. And then, like you said, thank you, Michael. Reach out to him on Instagram at Solo Hour, and he'll answer your questions, which is super generous. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to do it. Um, it looks like you can just go to youtube.com slash Solo Hour. Uh, that's a thing. I didn't know if I had that set up, but I do. So youtube.com slash Solo Hour. And I've got three videos about my hair transplant on there. Yes. And they're beautifully uh, shot. Like I said earlier, you. because you had the team following you around. I was like, how do you do that? Yeah, Damn, the first one. Awesome camera work. <laughs> yeah, the first one's awesome. And I, I will, uh, to brag, uh, since, you know, you and I are on cameras and we do speaking stuff all the time. Um, I did my monologue. So they set up a camera for me in the hallway, which is, which was, uh, ended up being the, the narration for mm-hmm. the video and, uh, right. one take Charlie over here, bang, just banged it out. I was like, just hit record. I got <laughs> you. And I just did like two or three minutes and just banged the whole thing. out. I was like, they were like, I can't believe you just did that in one. I was like, well, come on guys. You know, who you're talking I'm a to pro here. over here. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, anyway, yeah. So that's the deal. Uh, if, if you guys watch the third video, which says hair, hair transplant in Turkey, one year results, you may notice it looks like I've got like a, a kind of a baldy spot. It's only cause I, it was full on hat hair. I had a hat on all day and I just like, Oh, you know what? I haven't done a one year video and I should do it. So, but it doesn't look like yeah, that. But- I have no bald spots. It's great. Yeah. And you can look at, you know, your photos on Insta and everything like Mm -hmm. that. And you can see that, um, you know, you have a full head of hair. So if anyone's thinking about doing this, you want to see, oh, what do you think you could look like after this? Well, here you go. Here's your before. There it is. All right. So um, we got to go. I have another call. But I guess my last question is, it was, I know the answer is yes, but tell me why it was worth it. Was it worth it and why? I think that the... The re, the, the, uh, not only sort of the rejuvenation, the, the, the regaining my identity and feeling like I was young and vital and, uh, or younger, I guess, and vital. And, and, um, it was almost like you lose a leg and someone replaces your leg (laughs) and go, okay, cool. I got a leg again. 
Um, yeah. It, it really does. There's a part of it that was so emotionally tied to just how I go through my everyday life. Um, yeah. It's it's one of those things I think a lot of people take for granted, certainly when we're younger and as, as guys. And then, you know, if you if you want to feel great, you will operate better in your life. You know, the, the better you feel, the better you feel about yourself, the more confidence, the more you're, the better you're going to be at work, the better you're going to be in your relationships, better going to be dating, better be, like all the above. You're just going to feel better. So um, my goal has been to take away the stigma of, of uh, let's not hide that, hey, guess what? Some guy, sometimes guys go bald and, yeah. and they can fix it now, you know? Yeah. I, for some reason, we, we give ladies, no offense, a hall pass to shoot their lips full of stuff and their cheeks and their eyes and wear heels and makeup and jeans and Spanx and like all of this technology that yeah. like, <laughs> you know, could, literally can make somebody look completely different than they are in real life. But there's still a stigma about a dude, you know, doing these procedures. But now I'm like, I'm not letting it be a stigma. I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I definitely take TRT. And I, I will tell you guys as the last bit, the more people I've told about it, the more people are like, oh my God, I really want to do that. Or, oh yeah, I did it four years ago. Right. Like it's yes. definitely there. Yep. I hear you on that. It's like if I, if a woman compliments my hair and I'm like, oh yeah, this is my curling iron. These are my hair extensions. Here you go. Here's everything <laughs> right. you need to do the exact same thing. Like who cares? Extensions. There's not a, by the way, there's not a Hollywood dude that hasn't done it, that has hair. Some guys, right, you know, right. if you're Jean-Luc Picard, you don't, but from Theo Vaughn to, to David Spade to, you know, uh, what's his face? Vinny Barbarino, um, John Travolta, to Tom Cruise to like, they've, I, I, I've, I can verify that they've done that. So yes. eh, okay. don't worry about it. Well, well, thank you for de stigmatizing it and food heals nation. Reach out to Michael on Instagram.com slash solo hour. If you have any questions, we'll put all the websites and all the information we talked about today in the show notes. You've also got your course, the art of the interview.co where you teach people how to interview like a pro because you are a pro interviewer on your show, solopreneur hour podcast. Michael, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Allie. Thanks, Food Heals Nation. Let me say it again. Thanks, Food Heals Nation. See, I can I can speak with words. <laughs> Bye guys. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Side effects of this podcast may include increased health and vitality, thoughts of living longer, developing a more positive outlook on life. In rare cases, people have experienced a strong desire to actually start using their $39.99 a month gym membership. If you experience any of these symptoms, Snapchat your trainer immediately.